Well, Engelbrand was started in 1978 by John Claude when he left the military and Ferrier came out of Ferrier School and went to work down in, uh, just down the west side of uh, St. Louis. Ended up on the Anheuser-Busch farm with the Bush family and did a lot of draft horse work and he started making horseshoes out here north side of Lexington in, in the late 70s and at some point he gravitated more towards making shoes and selling them to other farriers than getting under himself and he had back issues as well and it, it grew out of that. It grew out of his, his original and he beginnings. Should, he should saddle bred horses as well and most of those shoes at that time would have all had been made by hand and he kind of devised some ways where he could make a, make machine made blanks and uh, then came along with some punch shoes and found that he had a good clientele for them and that's grown from that point. A lot of things, I think one of the big things we do as a manufacturer and a retail store is Alan's on the road about 100, 100 days a year and he's interacting with hands-on horse owners, horse people at shows, farriers, other retailers and so we get a gauge across the country particularly you know, the, the eastern two-thirds of what's going on today and probably the future of it in that way. Not counting just normal sales patterns, but truly on a face-to-face -face level, don't you agree? Yeah, and it's, you get to see changes in shooting styles, uh, especially at the, the horse shows, guys will change brands and it's like everybody's using one brand one year and the following year there's one guy's changed and everybody else has tried it and before you know it the whole crew has gone to maybe a different style shoe or a different manufacturer and uh, by seeing that through them it seems like they're the ones that kind of set the trends and the rest of the crew follows so by seeing that you kind of see the direction that maybe guys are going. Yeah most of our manufacturing here is done is very niche you know it's it's the smaller volume items whether that's anvils or the aluminum glue on shoe or our, even our shoe lines are not the high volume lines that other manufacturers get involved in and that lets us be a little bit more unique. We can run different product cycles, a little shorter runs than other folks and um, that gives us the manufacturing advantage. When you put the two together, the retail store was opened by John there in the early 80s after he started making shoes and it grew big enough that the manu other manufacturers finally allowed him to sell. There's lots of different ways. There's the farrier can communicate with his or her supply shop, and particularly here at Amble Brand, they're going to see Alan on the road 100 days a year, or just call him. His number is published. We have a website following, and um, we've got some long hours here, seven to five, and there's usually somebody here to speak with, whether that's Alan, Mike, in production. He's been making Amble Brand shoes here for 22 years, so. He's very receptive to, to any kind of comments. In fact, we make a lot of custom shoes. So in our facility, we have a, a couple of gentlemen that are just very knowledgeable and hands-on that can answer your questions beyond the phone staff and, and, and I. And from time to time, we have to kind of limit, you know, you can't have every style and every brand of shoe in the world here, but chances are we order from the people that they might be looking for a product from and um, we try and accommodate them by getting things in that maybe we're not stocking on our shelves but place an order along with something else and get it in here you know for a special need kind of deal.